White local can... sports tube sponsored team here. <laughs> <laughs> Just hanging out real thick at four in the morning. The wait continues. Another hour until apparently we can check into another flight. Who's excited? John. Uh, the pins. <laughs> Alright. We are not having very much luck. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been awake for three days straight so far. Aaron's super stoked. She's got okay, a little okay. breakfast thingy. There we are, waiting for another flight that we're probably not going to get onto. Um, it's not looking good. I uh, don't think we'll be making it to Seoul today. Which, alright. What to say or what to do? We're in a really grim situation right now. Yep, so, airline uh, didn't give us any flights. We missed all of our flights. Perfect. Um, but they have given us accommodation in Villa Just for a couple of days. And so we thought we'd take advantage of it and check out the local attractions. Oh, not these guys. Yeah. I am. Absolutely, 100% level been a sucker for exploring but exploring always seems to pay off uh, this incredible place we just stumbled across that seems to be a marina for world war ii and these seem to be um, like old engines that they would use in the in the ships from world war ii um, there's even a huge big ship just out here on the port we'll check out in a bit Potentially World War II stuff, and it's absolutely mind blowing what's still here. Um, never heard of it, never seen anything about it before. Um, and clearly, there's a massive ship still here as well.
Korea. Bye bye in. Something's happening. <laughs> Who's excited? <laughs> so much froth happening right now. We have tickets to start. Something's happening. Will we make it? I don't know. Everybody's guess. So, because of the size of these planes that we take to solar, we have to um, take all our guns out of our bags and compress them down to make as much space as possible. These guns are actually gonna, going to go under our seats on the plane. Good work, Joseph. Are we actually going to get our final flight? <laughs> We're going to... <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, looks like my dive bag's been left behind. <laughs> Finally made it. Solar. Last flight completed. Now just off the quake here. Well, I'd be lying if I didn't say I'm stoked to be back in paradise. This place is literally just incredible. So good to be back. We just got back from our first doggy experience on Quake here. What do you, what do you think? Um, so you first jumped in, you saw some pretty solid ones first. Yeah. You were one of the first ones in the water. Super solid ones right off the bat. Like, probably the biggest fish I've ever seen in the ocean. Yeah. Um, kind of wish my heart rate hadn't been so jacked on the first dive. <laughs> <laughs> Always the water. First dive was kind of garbage, but uh, Got better after that for sure, much more relaxed. I eventually got a little bit more comfortable in the water, diving a lot better after a couple drops, and yeah, I just kind of dropped right on top of one that came in right as I went down, and managed to put a shot from above right into him on the side. Pretty good holding shot, I thought. And then big old head shake started to tear away. Uh, you towel went straight for the floats, expecting the whole fight to begin, but it popped out as soon as pressure got really uh, and then we saw a lot of sharks. Ran into a yeah, very large yeah. amount of sharks. I, know, I was feeling really vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. having a gun in my hand. Even yeah, we were like, gun. me and Joe were like circling <laughs> you. It was like, good to have you guys like, 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 like oh, up around me. Like, yeah. There was a few folks when Even there. with the gun, that one was still intimidating. Yeah, yeah. it was a I mean, freak. Like, I gave him a pretty hefty poke. Like Dylan gave him a slight poke, and I yeah. I, I made sure to, like, hey, yeah. piss off. But he <laughs> Local tax.
lateral. <risa> At the moment, all the crew are out mullet hunting. I've got the easy job, flying the drone, getting some footage. So, um, they're out in their bay out here. Yo! Looks like they just got a net full. Pretty exciting. Um, so it's good to see we actually caught something. I think they're uh, about to reset the net for, a, for another run now. Local canoe ride over to the waterfall. Hi, I'm filming this when I'm paddling. <laughs> yeah. Another awesome tour. Um, little Captain Anna back here, bit of a legend. So for those of you that are curious about the accommodation that we have here at Quake Air Island, so just gonna go check out the boys the beach there as you can see. And two single boys. We love shark. Getting gear ready, thinking around here. So here's what I call the penthouse, right on the beach. Uh, as you can see, it's literally on the beach. Tide's a little bit out at the moment, but it comes in. So, as you can see, it's a huge room, uh, big double bed. Every room has a fan, 24 hour power, uh, right on the beach. Oh, other parts of accommodation here. There's still a few shacks, uh, some nice hammocks. Just and this is one of the other huts. Here we have two double beds. Nice, decent sized room views. The furthest one is actually only about 20 meters from the ocean. So, lunch is on. What have we got today? Oh. Two. 
I, ga I gave him a plate. It definitely dialed in here. Aaron, wake up. Aaron, time to get crazy for lunch. Aaron, come on. Let's go. Chance. I got it all on video. Oh That's like a kilo fish. <laughs> oh, makes the fish look bigger. <laughs> it's actually as big as you. That's what's cool about being. Where I am, uh, I'm just heading out to a new dive. Very early start today. Let's make it work. The things we do to find new spots. come around this corner and then this insanely massive waterfall this is absolutely unreal This is absolutely mind blowing. Got some beautiful jack, midnight supper, a few other things for lunch. Go for a quick swim in this insane waterfall, wash off all the salt, and then we'll cook up fish for lunch. Bloody This name and 
Nice to be ready soon. Fresh fish caught this morning. Can't beat it. Nice and chewy. Yeah. Just got back from a dive. Notice there's some fun waves right out the front just as we're coming in. So, gonna raid the boardroom and uh, try. Yeah. Tungsten, you gonna wax up? Today is a day off diving, instead we're going to go hunting in absolute perfect conditions, perfect weather. <sighs> Got the machetes, Got the guns, and gas cans. And gas cans. Big ass boat into a tiny little creek. Uh, we're gonna go for a hike now and uh, try to find some cattle. This is the first time uh, we've come in here and done this, so pretty wild, pretty cool. Looking for crocodiles and then hopefully hunting cattle. We've gone as far as we can with the boat. Now, on foot and hike. Think we'll be hiking for a while. Just had a quick stop at one of the uh, villages. Oh, it's not even a village, it's someone's place here. Um, it's just up here. Completely off the grid, 100% self-sufficient. We've got all our all the food, fruit and vegetables here, pumpkin, beans, chilies, corn, everything here. It's just absolutely incredible, right on the edge of a river, river bank. So, amazing place. Let's see if we make it out of here alive. <laughs> so hot and humid, I've had to change out of my full shirt and put a singlet on. Uh, so at this point, I realise how unfit I actually am. <laughs> Those little ants, they're just there. They're fire ants and they fucking hurt when they bite you. I've been done about nine times now walking through here. About two hours into the jungle so far. It's pretty hectic, it's pretty hot. Um, very, very humid, so, but we've got to keep going and see what we can make of it. Um, All these vines we were working, walking through were planted by the Americans in World War II to create cover for their troops. As you can see, they've done an incredibly good job. But now, they have taken over all the native trees and pretty much overrun the whole island. Um, it's kind of a bummer.
so after our huge hike, been welcome back here to have some beautiful, fresh, homegrown fruit and veggies. Um, just cracked open a nice, beautiful watermelon for us. Can't beat this. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> the best watermelon you ever had. Not that. <laughs> Doesn't get any more fresh than that. Straight from the garden. Well, we've had a pretty full-on few days trying to catch up for the lost time that we had. My body's completely broken, ready for some rest, but still sad to be leaving Quakia. It's always an amazing place and it's always sad to leave, the, unfortunately, but uh, we'll be back soon. Yeah. Right. Right.